Okay, in this video, I'm going to uh, cover correlation. This is going to be our main uh, topic, correlation. All right, let me see if I can, how oh, I can change your colors. Okay, this is what I will do, okay. All right, um, correlation. So uh, we are going to cover uh, linear correlation, independent, dependent variable, uh, var variables, types of correlation, okay? And then find correlation coefficient. That's uh, what we're gonna cover in this video. So what is correlation? It's a relationship between two variables. It's uh, If we compare to life, uh, the correlation is very uh, widely is used in uh, psychology. It's a relationship between couple. It's uh, exactly the same way the, the model in uh, these topics of statistics. Relationship between two variables. Uh, the data are represented by uh, the pairs x and y because we have two people one gonna represent x the other one's gonna represent y x is independent y is dependent just like on any graph uh, we usually assign value to x and y is changing accordingly just the same way uh, in couple it's always uh, one is uh, usually in, i'm not talking about rare cases but uh, one is leading the other one is following so in one is independent, that is X we considered, and Y is dependent or uh, response variable. All right. So, um, correlation usually uh, placed on the graph in the form of graph. And uh, that graph we call scatter plot because it go goes by point. Uh, by the way, you can build scatter plot in um, stat crunch so uh, you open this table you see in the example so uh, you're going to uh, copy and paste in uh, stat crunch obviously you are not uh, at the, uh, allowing that first uh, line will have x and y you have to clean it because uh, it has to be numbers so this table will start from one negative four, two and negative two, three and negative one, okay? Um, but, um, and once you uh, transfer or copy paste to StatCrunch to build the scatter plot, you are going to build, uh, you are going to go for StatCrunch, let me see. So you are clicking on graph, okay? And then you are going to scatter plot, choosing scatter plot. And from there, uh, you are going to pick uh, what is going to represent uh, variable X. So you are going to choose uh, the, uh, I mean, what is going to represent uh, first variable. It's going to be variable one, and that's going to be our X. And second one, uh, variable Y is going to be second variable. It's like in this case, negative four, negative two, negative one, and so on. Okay, uh, choose variables. Choose X and Y variables. All right, and click complete, and you will get the picture of a scatter plot. Or uh, if there are only few uh, coordinates uh, like this one, you just can build even by hand. It's entirely up to you. Now, types of correlations. Uh, correlation can be, as we can see, negative, positive, no correlation, nonlinear. Let's uh, uh, stop here and analyze uh, which one we call negative. Okay, let me see. One 
one second, it got messed up. All right, so. Give me one second. So which scatter plot we call positive? So we we have here, let's say such scatter plot. Uh, this one calls uh, positive because uh, in the through the scatter plot we see imaginary positive slopes, see straight line. Those are just errors around that are drifted away, but through the scatters, you can provide uh, the, the linear uh, graph with positive slope. Now, if we build such one, that's going to be negative one, right? The imaginary line is going to go down. And uh, according to this one, let me see, it's already seen here. If you see this, so you can see negative one, it go, goes down, and obviously it's explained when when you we have negative uh, at the slope, usually as x increases, y decreases, right? Here we have positive linear correlation in the second one, and uh, if you provide imaginary line, you will have positive uh, at the positive slope, and the graph is growing, which means. Um, as uh, x is increases here, y is also increasing, right? Unlike in a case of negative one, it's uh, as x is increasing, y is decreasing. Yes. Now let's look at uh, no correlation. If you see, it's a chaos. Uh, in uh, if we transfer into um, uh, human relation, that means uh it they are either not uh, uh in relationship or if this is even if it's uh they are still together so each of them lives their own life so they, their uh, life uh, is not related anyhow to each other that's what they call um no correlation here and non-linear as you can see it's like probably if you provide imaginary line let me see if you provide imaginary line, so you will see it's a, uh, you are getting negative parabola, correct? And that is meaning uh, nonlinear. Even if, let me bring interesting example, if you have, let's say, this is uh, like steady and the, uh, the later it goes like that. So which means uh, if you provide line, it's gonna go straight like this and then down. It's still we are not considering um, correlation because you can't separate them. And if you take the whole graph, there is no uh, a linear correlation. There is there is a break. And moreover, this is not even graph. I mean, this is not even function. Function. This is only graph. And uh, difference is function. The, the one is uh, one variable is independent. The other variable is dependent. Okay, here in this case example, constructing scatter plot, it's showing to how to build uh, using X as a GDP trillion. It's looking how emission control it's gonna be changing uh, if we use uh, GDP if, if GDP is growing. So if you constructing scatter plot, we are getting approximately at the um, imaginary line. We are getting positive slope, right? And uh, at the linear, growing linear, um, at the linear um, graph. So we have positive linear correlation, which means as the GDP, GDP is growing, uh, it's um, gross, uh, some, uh, hold on, uh, gross domestic product, yes. Carbon dioxide is also increasing. So as you can see, you can use scatter plot not only in psychology but in economy also. All right, so uh, here is showing how to use technology, and I'm not going to stop here. Whoever want to use um, um, scientific calculator, be my guest. Uh, but whoever prefer 
Uh, stat crunch. I already told you how to move in stat crunch. I think stat. I believe stat crunch is very easy. Next, uh, correlation coefficient. Uh, don't get scared of this uh, scary formula. Uh, you are not going to plug the numbers and calculate, but at least uh, I want you to see how it looks, the formula. It's a really complicated formula, and whoever doesn't know order of operation, then good luck with that, count by hand uh, this uh, correlation coefficient. But... Um, Thank God we have a uh, stat crunch and we will, I will share, tell you uh, how to build, how to calculate um, correlation coefficient uh, in stat crunch. So uh, what for is correlation coefficient? It's measuring the strength. Uh, you know, again, let's, let's take again also relationship in a couple. There is a couple that they are uh, the, very close to each other, uh, everywhere they together. I call such couples a pair of shoes because where the one is there, there the other one is also. <laughs> and uh, there are <clears throat> there is correlation that is really really weak, shaky. It's ready to collapse. So well, I don't have to tell you. You, uh, you all know and uh, correlation um, uh, the coefficient. Uh, we use, hold on, I may get also to another lecture. Let me drag it down one more time. Yeah, and uh, for correlation uh, coefficient, we are using letter R, lowercase, and start crunch, it, uh, I believe it's uppercase R. We will see. All right. Um, that is for sample correlation uh, coefficient. But for population correlation coefficient, we use raw. So R is for sample, and uh, raw is for population. So we're going to use uh, R. So uh, the, first of all, let me sh tell you how you're gonna calculate uh, using um, stat crunch uh, correlation coefficient. So you are going to transfer data again to stat crunch, and then you are going to go to so you are going to go to stat crunch, obviously. Stat crunch. And then you are clicking stat. And then choosing uh, regression. And lastly, we are choosing simple linear. Again, then you're going to choose x value of x, what is going to be value of x by value uh, of y, just like in any case you are transferring data in stat crunch, and then click compute, and you will get uh, the correlation coefficient. Okay, now let's uh, move to understanding of value correlation coefficient and what interpretation we can give, how we can use this correlation um, coefficient. So, correlation coefficient can be from negative 1 to positive 1, unlike we always use in form of percentage from 0% to 100%, but in the case of correlation, negative 1 to positive 1, which means uh, correlation coefficient can be value of a spectrum of uh, numbers between negative 1 and a positive 1. That means it's going to be decimal notation uh, at the and um, it's going to be either negative or positive. Let's look uh, at the important point. When the first thing, if R is equal to negative 1, that means it's uh, ideal, perfect negative correlation. Zero meaning chaotic, there is no correlation at all. And if when uh, R meaning correlation coefficient equal, equal 1, we have perfect positive uh, correlation. Next, now let's look in between. 
So negative uh, zero point ninety one. We are talking about uh, negative uh, the value that is close. If you round it, it's gonna get close to one. It's gonna get one, right? So it's gonna be strong negative correlation. Strong negative correlation we call correlation where co correlation coefficient is close to one. If if you look, you can provide imaginary um, uh, the linear um, at, um, graph, uh, linear uh, graph meaning line that that is decreasing. Okay, that's for therefore it's a strong negative correlation. So zero of eighty eight, it's also a strong correla positive correlation. Uh, up to zero point five. Okay, up to zero point five, it's gonna be a strong positive correlation. Now less than zero point five, between zero point uh, at the less than zero point five. Okay, let's go that way. It's gonna be weak. We have weak positive. If we, if we would have negative 0 0.42, this graph is going to go down, right? And weak. Why is it weak? What's the difference? Let's look at the strong um, uh, positive and uh, weak positive. Why, why this one is strong? 0 0.88 uh, correlation coefficient is considered strong. Why this one co uh, considered positive? Uh, because you have here on the side, um, you have the outlier points. See that? Uh, three dots uh, going um, going horizontally. Um, this uh, PowerPoint doesn't, uh, doesn't allow me to use pointer, so I could show you. It's, I'm talking about weak positive correlation versus strong positive correlation. Why one we consider weak, the other one we consider uh, strong. Uh, if uh, looking at the graph, uh, besides of that, you can do, if you do calculation, uh, once you get 0 0.88, with the other one, you get, you get 0 0.42. And because 0 0.42 is less than 0 0.5, that's mean we consider weak positive correlation. And moving to nonlinear correlation, uh, 0 0.07, it's very close to uh, 0, right? Uh, so... It's uh, and it's nonlinear. It's very weak, and it's uh, nonlinear because you can provide imaginary. It's, it's as a parabola. It starts with um, uh, the low coordinates. Let's say one and two, uh, and then it's uh, the growing, uh, going up, and then again falling down. So it's uh, if you provide imaginary line, you will see it's like a parabola. Uh, that goes down. Okay. And the rest is showing how to calculate. So um, that's all. The only couple of things I wanted to add that that data, uh, the, the table with data that you can tra transfer to StatCrunch and uh, get a scatter plot or uh, calculate uh, co co the correlation coefficient. Sometimes this uh, data can have Uni at the univariate at the variate and uh, bivariate data. What is uh, univariate data? It's a single variable that is measured uh, the, on each uh, case, on each individual. But in bivariate uh, data, well, there are two uh, the variables uh, describing um, individual or uh, subject. Okay, so which means there are cases that you represent only with one variable and there are cases that you need to represent as uh, two variables just to come bring examples from algebra. You can use linear equation or two variables. You are using system of uh, uh, equations, right? It's precisely the same way. Okay.